Hi, in this video I will show how to use MT940 to SQL converting app. MT940 is a banking, bank statement format and uh, if I want to upload it into database uh, I can use uh, M this conversion app. So this is my website, I will leave a link on the site into the description. To find app I will click on search and type MT940. Yeah, and this one I, I need to uh, convert them. T942 SQL. I will click on a page, click on download button to start downloading process. It uh, it will download the uh, archive with app installer inside from Google Drive and um, it's small archive 5 megabyte. I will click on uh, on downloaded archive. Then click on MSI inside archive. Click on more info. I'm getting this screen from Microsoft because I'm not registered publisher. I, I'm getting the screen from Windows because I'm not registered publisher with Microsoft. So you can see publisher and all. I'll just click run anyway to start the installation. Click on next, next install. Click on yes here and click on finish. And you can see app has been installed on my uh, computer. I have a new shortcut on my desktop. Now I can close this. And this and double click on the app to uh, on the shortcut to launch app. Now conversion is three steps process. In step one, I have to select uh, MT940 files. I will click on select input files. Navigate to my MT940s here for examples. I'll just click on this one. Now I have file selected. Click on next step. On this step, I have to specify options. If I want to add ID field, I can add it. Usually ID field is useful for SQL operations because it, uh, it's identifying record. And it's a like, unique primary key for identifying record. And it's good to have. Then I will select which database I would use SQL. Different database uh, like um, my SQL or SQLite has a different um, SQL language, um, some different name of the columns, name of the like column types. So I have to specify which database I will be using. For example, I will be using SQL Server. And then I will click on next step. Here I can preview my SQL. You can see it will create table with all fields like this is our primary key we added. And this is transaction description, transaction value date, transaction entry date, and funds, amount, transaction type. And you can see that's like balance amount, it's decimal, and uh, sequence number in, and everything else is um, uh, car. So, and then after that, so we create a table, name of the table would be the name of the file have this name of the file so it will create a name of the table you can change it after you save the file you can open it into a text editor and change it if you want to so this is insert statement and below there are values uh, this is like description and it has like next line new line new line and it will be correct for SQL SQL will accept this as a as a data and Put it everything into table with all with all um, uh, new lines in it. So yeah, basically that's it. We have our um, data MT uh, 940 converted into SQL. I can click on save. I now I have to specify name of the file and folder. This name of the file and folder is okay. I'll click on save, and file has been saved. Now let's go and open this file like into our notepad. And you can see it has um, all data in it. If I want to change the name of the table, I can edit it. And uh, if I change uh, name of the fields, I have to specify this statement, like change them also into insert statement. So if I change in like uh, transaction description, change here and change here. Everything else is okay. So if you have a data here, data will be inserted because it's rely on 
column uh, position, not on column name. So yeah, basically that's it. We have our SQL file. If you have any questions, please leave them in comments. Thank you.